I grew up in Forest Hills, which is not far away from Flushing Meadows. My parents would often drive to my grandma's house in Flushing, so we would always pass by the New York State Pavilion. Uh, it, it's really sad when you look at photos and video of how it looked during the fair. It's magical. It looks so whimsical with the all lit up and just, you could see it being the Eiffel Tower of Queens. It's just that important and it looks that beautiful and it's great architecture. It's one of those instant landmarks. So I don't think it would be that hard to sell it as a museum or a restaurant or some other kind of use. In the Tent of Tomorrow, that main rotunda, there was on the floor a huge giant roadmap of New York State made by Texaco, the gas station company. And it was very popular during the fair because people would like to walk onto that roadmap and actually point out the city that they were from. Uh, in more recent years, one of the reasons why that roadmap has deteriorated so much is that people would actually break in and they like to go in and steal the city that they're from. Um, so I think the blame goes back to people like Robert Moses, the governor, the mayor at the time of the fair, not really having the vision to say, what could we do with this building? And from there, every mayor just passes it off and it's very easy for them to do so and say that it was someone else's problem and i almost suspect that a lot of those mayors were just waiting for something to happen uh, i think that's a crime i mean that you're pretty much waiting for one day one of those towers is going to fall and someone's going to get hurt something's going to be damaged and then it'll be a huge news story for a week and then they'll say we've got to now destroy the entire building because somebody was hurt from it um, but why are we waiting I mean, it's so obvious when you're there that even though it's an impressive, majestic building, there are huge cracks in it. You don't need to be a structural engineer to see that there are problems with this building. Hi, my name is Matthew Silva, and I'm making a documentary about the New York State Pavilion. Over the past 50 years, there have been some really incredible people who have advocated for the pavilion in trying to get it restored and put back to good use. They have some really incredible stories, and with your help, I can capture those stories and share them with the world. I need to do some traveling in order to capture all these interviews. The ultimate goal of this documentary is to raise awareness about the pavilion, explain a little bit about what it was and how it came to be a modern ruin. The hope is that with a little awareness and understanding, the building might be able to be restored and put back to good use and preserved for future generations. To keep up with the progress of the documentary, you can read my blog at nyspavilion.blogspot.com and be sure to follow me on Twitter. I look forward to sharing this project with you in 2014 at the 50th anniversary of the 1964 World's Fair. Thank you again.